In Act One, he and she are old lovers, and they meet as they're cast together in this play. And it starts to rekindle some old romances, and she ends up leaving her husband for he. And it sparks a lot of um, um, hostility and a lot of um, variety of emotions from love and old memories to currently how they feel about each other. And so the play goes through that roller coaster. You must have, have always wondered what is it that happens when two actors who may or may not know each other are, are put on, on a stage and told, okay, now you, you really care for this person, you're going to have to kiss them realistically. How do they do that? And as the title says, there is a lot of kissing that takes place. The thing is, it's not really a stage kiss because, you know, I'm... I'm a horrible kisser, as in, not in real life, I mean in, in the play. So it's sort of like a comedy kind of thing. And it's not something that I would tell myself that, oh, I've actually had a stage kiss before because I don't consider that a stage kiss at all, actually. <laughs> when you have that much kissing, you have to establish some ground rules so that uh, people uh, understand what's going to happen, are comfortable with what's going to happen. And I think it really brings something new to the performance because there's a real friendly chemistry between all of us here. You know, you really come to life on stage when you start to get to know each other and feel comfortable with each other. And in the end, it's a story of finding out what true love is and what the true meaning of relationships are and what's most important in life. And so that's, it's, it's a nice feel-good story in the end.